Long before man appeared, long before the ice ages, the earth belonged to giants. Our journey begins 252 million years ago, after the largest extinction event in history, the Permian Triassic. The Permian period, Permian system Permian, is the sixth and final geological period of the Paleozoic era. It began 298.9 million years ago, plus or minus 0.15 million years, and lasted about 47 million years. Ended 251.902 million years ago with the greatest Permian mass extinction in the history of the planet. The deposits of the period are underlain by the Carboniferous and overlain by the Triassic. The Permian saw an increase in the diversity of sauropsids, reptiles, and synapsids, ancestors of mammals. As a result of the Carboniferous forest crisis, the tropical forests of the Carboniferous period gave way to deserts. Since amniotes survived the crisis more easily due to their lesser dependence on moisture, they diversified greatly, unlike amphibians. Pangaea, which had formed in the Carboniferous, continued to exist in the Permian. The period ended with the largest mass extinction in the history of the Earth, the Permian Triassic. As a result of the eruption of the Siberian traps, 81% of all marine and 70% of all terrestrial species died out. It took about 30 million years for the biosphere to recover from this catastrophe. The emergence of archosaurs, the ancestors of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are land reptiles belonging to the group of archosaurs, archosauria, which also includes crocodiles and birds. The first archosaurs appeared at the turn of the Permian and Triassic periods. Dinosaurs appeared later, at the end of the Triassic period, about 230 million years ago. Dinosaurs became extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period 66 million years ago. In total, dinosaurs dominated the planet for more than 160 million years. Currently, more than 500 genera and more than 1,000 species of dinosaurs are known, and scientists find new ones every year. Thus, last year, at the Shestakovo dinosaur site in the Kemerovo region, scientists discovered a new species of predatory dinosaur from the early Cretaceous period of Western Siberia. The first dinosaur, Eoraptor. Eoraptor, Latin Eoraptor, is one of the earliest representatives of dinosaurs, which lived during the late Triassic, Carnian age, in the northwestern part of today's Argentina. The type and only species is Eoraptor lunensis, as of December 2024, it is included in the sauropodomorph group. The dinosaur fossils were first discovered in 1991 by University of Chicago paleontologist Paul Serino in the Valle de la Luna area, Spanish Valle de la Luna, which is a nature reserve located in the province of San Juan. Several more well-preserved skeletons were later discovered. The name of the binomen means lunar dawn predator, Ancient Greek eos, eos, means morning, or dawn. Latin raptor, predator, lunensis, lunar, from the moon. The last part of the name contains a reference to the geography of the location of the dinosaur's remains. From Spanish, Valle de la Luna, means valley of the moon. It was a small, bipedal, by mode of movement, dinosaur, the body length of which was approximately 1 to 1.7 meters and the weight of about 5 to 10 kilograms. Its front legs were half the length of the back and had five fingers. The Jurassic period, Jurassic is the middle, second period of the Mesozoic era. It began 201.4 million years ago, plus or minus 0.2 million years ago, and ended about 145 million years ago. Thus, it lasted about 56 million years. The complex of deposits, rocks, corresponding to this age is called the Jurassic system. In different regions of the planet, these deposits differ in composition, genesis, and appearance. The deposits of this period were first described in the Jura Mountains, a mountain range in Switzerland and France. This is where the name of the period comes from. The deposits of that time are quite diverse. Limestones, clastic rocks, shales, igneous rocks, clays, sands, conglomerates, formed in a variety of conditions. The Jurassic period is divided into three eras, early, middle, and late. Similarly, in stratigraphy, 
The Jurassic system is divided into the Lower Jurassic, Middle Jurassic, and Upper Jurassic divisions, also known in Europe as the Lias, Dogger, and Malm, respectively. The division of the term Jurassic into three parts originated with Leopold von Buch. The Jurassic period saw the rise of such groups of animals as dinosaurs, as well as ichthyosaurs, pterosaurs, and plesiosaurs. Diplodocus carnegie is a species of herbivorous saurischian dinosaur, belonging to the infraorder sauropods, the diplodocid family, and the diplodocid genus. They lived at the end of the Jurassic period, 150 to 145 million years ago, in what is now North America. Diplodocus carnegie reached 27 meters in length, with most of it being the neck and tail. The neck was almost eight meters long, and the tail was almost 14 meters. The neck consisted of only 15 vertebrae, about 93 centimeters long, but the tail was very long and flexible. 80 vertebrae, about 17 centimeters long. Towards the end of the tail, the vertebrae became similar to cylinders, turning the tail into a kind of whip, which probably served as an effective defense tool. The vertebrae of the neck and tail were hollow, which significantly reduced the weight of the animals. Estimates of the weight by different researchers vary greatly, from 10 to 15 to 80 tons. Brachiosaurus is a genus of sauropod dinosaur that lived in what is now North America during the late Jurassic period, about 154 to 153 million years ago. It includes a single species, Brachiosaurus altothorax, Latin altothorax, deep-chested. It was described in 1903 by American paleontologist Elmer Riggs from fossil remains discovered in the Colorado River Valley in Western Colorado, USA. The lifetime length of known Brachiosaurus specimens has been variously estimated to be between 18 and 21 meters. Mass estimates range from 28.3 to 58 tons. Brachiosaurus had a disproportionately long neck and a small skull, which is generally typical of sauropods. The forelimbs were longer than the hind limbs, resulting in a very steep slope to the body and a tail that seemed proportionally short. Brachiosaurus is the type genus of the family Brachiosauridae. Much of the knowledge of Brachiosaurus is based on the more complete Brachiosaurid Giraffatitan, described from the Tendaguru Formation of Tanzania. Giraffatitan was named in 1914 by German paleontologist Werner Janensch as a species of Brachiosaurus B. Branchi, but was moved to its own genus in 2009. Three other species of Brachiosaurus have been described from remains found in Africa and Europe. Two of these are no longer considered valid or diagnostic, and the third has been separated into its own genus, Lusitan. Allosaurus is a genus of predatory dinosaurs from the family Allosauridae of the theropod clade. They lived in the Jurassic period. Kimmeridgian to early Tithonian, about 155 to 145 million years ago. Allosaurus were predators, moving on powerful hind legs, while the forelimbs were relatively small. Fossil remains of Allosaurus are known from North America, Southern Europe, and East Africa. Allosaurus was a large bipedal predator with a large skull equipped with dozens of large, sharp teeth. Representatives of the type species Allosaurus fragilis reached an average of 8.5 meters in length, 3.5 meters in height, and weighed more than one and a half tons, although fragmentary remains of larger size suggest that large individuals could reach 11 meters in length and weigh more than four tons. Allosaurus walked on large, powerful hind legs, while its forelimbs were relatively small and had three large curved claws. The massive skull was balanced by a long, heavy tail. Modern species of birds and crocodiles evolved from an ancient group of archosaurs, Archosauria, which lived on land and in the air about 252 to 66 million years ago. The most famous representatives of this group are dinosaurs, from which birds are believed to descend. But in addition to dinosaurs, there were many other groups of archosaurs. Scientists divide them into two large evolutionary lines, crocodile and bird. The bird line of archosaurs bird-footed is dinosaurs and their close relatives, including birds. Bird-footed animals are mainly bipedal and light-bodied, long-necked animals, but their evolutionary line has not been studied. 
science did not know about the most primitive representatives of this group. An article published in Nature reveals the stage of the evolution of archosaur reptiles. The Cretaceous period, or chalk, is the last period of the Mesozoic era. It began 145.0 million years ago and ended 66.0 million years ago. Thus, it lasted about 79 million years, the longest of the Mesozoic era and the Phanerozoic as a whole. The name comes from the chalk, which is mined from the sedimentary deposits of this period, formed by rich accumulations of fossil invertebrate marine organisms. During this period, animals such as Quetzalcoatlus, a giant pterosaur, Mosasaurus, Carnotaurus, a predatory dinosaur from the Abelosaur group, Tarbosaurus, a large Asian theropod from the Tyrannosaurid group, Titanosaurus, an Isosaur, one of the last sauropods, lived. The Cretaceous Paleogene extinction, sometimes the Cretaceous Cenozoic extinction, previously called the Cretaceous Tertiary extinction, was a mass extinction that occurred about 66 million years ago at the boundary of the Cretaceous and Paleogene periods. This extinction ended the Mesozoic era and began the Cenozoic era, which continues to this day. The Cretaceous-Paleogene boundary is a thin layer of iridium, which is found mainly in asteroids. Including because of this, the main cause of the extinction is considered to be the collision of the Earth with an asteroid with a diameter of 10 to 15 kilometers. A crater from such a collision was found in Mexico, on the Yucatan Peninsula, and was named Chicxulub. Although dinosaurs are gone, their descendants live among us such as chickens, sharks, snakes, crocodiles, sea turtles, etc. Dinosaurs didn't just disappear, they changed the Earth forever.